Hey guys, it's Landon, aka Summitatum here. So recently I've seen a lot of people asking how they can determine if their Switch is indeed hackable or not. And while there is a list of serials, so I've got that pulled up here, that show you whether it's patched or not, there are some that fall within the possibly patched range. And the only way to know if those possibly patched serials and those switches are hackable or not is to actually do a special test on it um so i'm going to actually demonstrate that today because i've seen a lot of people just saying um like posting their serials on facebook or what i'm asking or different forums different discords asking if they're hackable and then people go through see it's in the possibly patched range and then just say no it's not hackable automatically without actually giving them the steps of how to determine if it is for certain. Um, so I'm gonna go through and do that today without further ado, hope you enjoy. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go through and download the files and the programs that we're gonna need. So the program that we're gonna need is Tegra RCM GUI. And what that does is it just essentially is a little small program that runs on your computer that allows you to send a payload which allows you to boot into a custom firmware over to your switch through a USB-C cable. And then what the BizKey dump is, is it's a special program that we're going to administer through Tegra RCM. And it's very similar to a ping to where it's just sending a small bit of information over to the switch to determine if the switch can actually receive that information or not. So both of those links I will have in the description of this video. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to put the device into RCM. So what you do is there are 10 pins in the right Joy-Con rail. You're gonna to wanna to jump pins one and 10 or nine and 10 together. There's many different ways you can do this. You can use a piece of tin foil, you can use a paper clip, you can use all kinds of different things. They make jigs even that you can order online for really cheap that can do that for you. Whatever it is you have, that's what you're gonna to wanna to use. So for me, I've modded my right Joy-Con so that whenever I hold the jack button, it'll actually jump pins one and 10 for me. So you're gonna wanna power down the device. And then you'll wanna hold in the jack button if you have a modded Joy-Con or put your paper clip in, whatever it is you need to do to jump those pins. And then hold in the volume plus button and press the power button. And if you did it correctly, then your screen should be black now. If it has starts to load up the Nintendo Switch logo, then you don't have the pins jumped correctly. So go back through, readjust your paperclip, your tinfoil, whatever it is you're using, and try it again until you do get that solid black screen. And then whenever you get that, you're gonna wanna take your USB-C cable and plug that into the bottom and then into your laptop. Okay, so earlier you should have installed Tegra RCM. If you have not done that yet, make sure you go back and do that because that's crucial to this next step. So go through, open that up, and you'll see an icon down here in this corner with the switch. Yours will not show green and not show RCM okay yet. Yours will be red. What you need to do is you need to install the driver first. So what you do is go up to settings and then go to install driver. Mine's grayed out because I already have the driver installed. Once you have that, we're done with Tegra RCM. You can exit out of that for now. And then we're going to need to go through in that second download you did with the biz key dump. We're going to need to go through and copy that file over into the same folder as your Tegra RCM. So Here's where I have the BizKey dump. It's in a zip folder. So we'll just open that up. And then here's the BizKey dump. So we will just go to our C drive. The best way you can find where you have it downloaded is you can right click your icon on the desktop, go to properties, and it'll show you where that shortcut target is. So ours is in C drive, program files, Tegra RCM GUI. So we'll go C drive, program files 86, make sure that you go to 86 and not um, the 64 gigabyte normal folder if you are running on a 64 bit pro, um, operating system. 
and then we'll go down to Tegra RCM GUI, and then we'll take that bizkeydump.bin and just drag and drop it over into that same folder. Hit continue, yes. And then once that is inside, we're going to want to go through and start up an administrative command prompt. So type in CMD, right click on command prompt and run it as administrator. Hit yes. And then that'll pull up an administrator command prompt. Type in CD space backslash to get back into the root drive again. And then we're going to go to that same path that we have Tegra RCM installed. So CD space backslash program files. And then make sure that you put the 86 if that's where yours is installed. And then backslash Tegra RCM GUI. And then once we get inside of that folder, we're going to need to run a special command that will actually launch the bizkey dump and then tell us whether or not the switch is hackable. So what that command is, is it's tegra rcm smash dot exe space hyphen w space biz key dump dot bin space boot colon zero x zero. And then once you hit zero, once you hit zero, once you hit enter, then it should put back the results on whether your device is hackable or not. So, all right, so this is what you are looking for. Once you send that request through, you're looking for this line right here that says smash the stack with a zero by 7,000 byte setup request. If it does show the zero by 7,000, congratulations, your device is actually indeed hackable. If it does show zero by zero, 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 however, then it does mean that your switch is patched, unfortunately. But you never know unless you try. So again, if you see that zero by 7,000, congratulations, you're good to go. Pick out your custom firmware, load that on, and hack that bad boy. So... Again, that's how you determine for sure if your switch is indeed hackable. If you have any more questions, feel free to hit me up. Uh, send me a message on YouTube. Hit me up on Facebook, whatever, Discord. Um, thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.